Hi, welcome to this Racing Profits Guide to Racing at Kempton with me, Sam Laurie, and the Racing Post uh, all-weather expert, James Pyman. Uh, over the next few minutes, we'll try and point you in the direction of a few winners at your local track, uh, Kempton. Uh, and James, first thing I want to talk about is the, uh, the surface. It's a polytrack surface. Uh, could you just tell me a bit about that? What does it mean? Yeah, it's, it's a well-cushioned surface. Um, it's a waxy, synthetic composition. And um, clots, of course, can manipulate it. The, the BHA guidelines are that they, they produce a surface that's something like good, good to firm on turf. Um, they, they, there's normally no problem there. And it, it rewards horses with natural speed who travel well. It's a very, very fair surface. And how much of a factor is kickback there? Kickback isn't really a factor at all. It, it can be when, when a, a surface needs to be refreshed. Every five or seven, five to seven years, you need to replace polytrack just through wear and tear. But this is never really a problem at Kempton. They relayed their surface only a couple of years ago. Um, so unless temperatures get really cold and they have to work the surface, kickback is rarely an issue. Mm -hmm. Okay, so kickback rarely an issue. What about the course characteristics? Does Kempton suit particular running styles? I think it's really it's a really fair course uh, to be honest. P pace governs most of the races there. If, if you look at the stats, um, it seems as though it's a little bit pace favouring. Around two thirds of sprints were, are run by prominent racers, and twenty percent of sprints by front runners. Um, uh, but then, if you if you look at races over slightly longer distances, it's a good representation representation of all running styles. In many ways, it's it's, it's similar to an American course. Um, it, you know, being oval. But the big main difference is it's right-handed, unlike in America where they, where they race at left-handed courses. Um, there's, it's always worth mentioning also that there's an inner and an outer loop. Um, and with the outer loop, the, the home straight is, is almost half a mile. So it gives galloping types plenty of time to get organised and, and work their way into top gear. I think it's more of a galloping course than, say, Lingfield, where the bends are much sharper. And you mentioned Lingfield there. Does form between the other polytrack courses, Wolverhampton and Lingfield, transfer well between these tracks? It, it transfers pretty well. I, I think horses with a turn of foot are, are a little better at Lingfield. Um, and also, if you've got a horse that wants a right-handed course, they're obviously going to be better at Kempton. They might not back up a performance from Kempton at Wolverhampton and Lingfield. But the, the main issue really is that all three courses are polytrack, so you can expect the form to, to transfer pretty well between them. Mm -hmm. So if the form transfers between the, the polytrack courses, what about the fibre sand one, Southern? Well, you always have to be wary of horses going from polytrack to fibre sand. I mean, fibre sand is, is much deeper and generates a lot more kickback. It, it rides more like soft ground. Um, so just like on turf, whereas if you, know, if you saw a, a horse win a fast ground race running, then on soft ground you'd be a bit wary of it backing up the form. You know, the same thing applies here on the all-weather. Mm -hmm. And so, in summary then, sort of horses to do well at the, the course, are there any particular types of horses that, that do particularly well at Kempton? Well, I particularly like strong gallopers at Kempton, just, just because I think the track gives them time to get organised and, and get into top gear, um, particularly if they go a decent pace. And, you know, the, the length of the home straight is, is sufficient for them to, to be able to use their strides, and, and um, I, I tend to concentrate on galloping types. Mm -hmm. And how much of a, a factor is draw in racing there? Well, I think mainly it's a bit of a factor in the sprints because the, the, just the configuration of the courses, they, they're into a bend pretty quickly in the five and six furlong races. So if you're drawn low, you can get a good position tucked in against the inside rail. Um, th those who are drawn wider, they either have, they have two options really. They either have to be dropped out and held up or they, they you know, can race three or four wide around the bend, and that can prove to be a bis big disadvantage. So I tend to concentrate on low numbers in sprints. Mm -hmm. Well, we've talked about the uh, course characteristics, the effect of the draw, uh, and the surface itself. What about the, uh, the people to follow? Jockeys, any particular jockeys that uh, are worth following at Kempton? Well, the, the, the two jockeys who have been doing really well there you know, this winter, and, and two jockeys who ride the track really well, have, Jim Crowley and Alan Kirby, they've ridden more than 100 winners at the course um, since 2009, which is really good going. Um, I also like patient riders, um, because there is this long straight, you know, hold up horses can come through with a late run. So I like Jamie Spencer there and George Baker. Um, I think they ride the track really well. And another jockey to look for is Graham Gibbons. He's based up in the north, so he normally rides Wolverhampton or Southall, but when he makes the journey south to Kempton, he's always worth looking at. He's got a very healthy 20% strike rate at the course. So there are a, a few sort of all-weather jockeys that you like following, rather than a particular one for, for a course. It's, they tend to, to ride pretty well. 
I think, on the surface. Yeah, I think Jim Crowley and Adam Kirby and, and Spencer and George Baker, they, they ride all the polytrack courses really well. They get horses travelling and, and they often ride a horse for a turn of foot. And I think that, you know, that the polytrack complements their riding styles. Um, th those four are, are, jo are jockeys I follow at all the courses. Mm -hmm. And what about trainers? Well, actually, a trainer to look for with sprinters who does really well there is Ron Harris. His runners are showing a big profit. Um, middle distance staying races, Gary Moore's got a sizeable string. He doesn't train too far away from Kempton. Um, and he, he often gets the services of, of, of George Baker. So he's a trainer I like. And, you know, he's just a very, very versatile trainer with lots of the right type to run at Kempton. And what about combinations? When one trainer books a particular jockey, does that sort of make you... Uh Take note. I'm always looking for D David Evans and Adam Kirby. Um, David Evans has loads of winners at all the all weather courses, and I think Adam Kirby is his go to jockey, so that's a combination I like to look for. And we mentioned Ron Harris earlier with his sprinters. Um, his main man tends to be David Probert. Mm -hmm. Okay, so lots of angles, lots of factors there are put up just to try and bring that all together um, in summary. Then, first point. Um, Kempton, it's a fair course, um, little trouble in running there. Yeah, it's a, it's a wide home straight, I think particularly in the outer loop races. Uh, you don't often see horses getting, getting trapped like sometimes you do at Lingfield. Um, it's a really fair course that suits gallopers. Mm -hmm. And that brings us on to, to point two, galloping types. It's the long home straight really that's key for them. Yeah, it's just that little bit longer home straight. It's, it's probably about the, the same length as the Southern on the inner loop and a bit longer on the outer loop. And it's a longer home straight than at Wolverhampton and Lingfield. And it just gives horses time to get organised. And uh, point number three, pace shapes uh, most races, but a low draw can be advantageous in sprints. Yeah, I, I think work out really, first of all, whether you think there's going to be plenty of pace on um, and, and, and you know, sh shape your view accordingly. But I, I do think being able to get a good position against the rail in sprints is an advantage. And finally, uh, four jockeys uh, to follow, Jim Crowley, Adam Kirby, George Baker and Jamie Spencer. Yeah, I mean, it applies actually to all these polytrack courses. These four ride them particularly well. And, um, you know, trainers are always looking to get their services. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, many thanks, James, and good luck with your betting.